Welcome to the Green Chair Interviews. Today we have Heidi McDonald from the History Department. Welcome, Heidi. Thank you. Um, today we would like to know, what is your philosophy of teaching? Well, I would say I have two main goals in any class that I teach, and that is to engage the students in critical thinking and to encourage them to be curious, and in my case, uh, curious about the discipline of history. Okay. And, and then I, I'd say, Overall, I'm also thinking of setting an example for the students, too, in any class. So I, I really endeavor to, to be energetic and to be very, well, as prepared as I can be and also open to ideas. So if I present myself in that way, I hope that they will feel those same things and uh, they'll be motivated to, to respond that way. Right. Yeah. So, um, in your class, um, how can you tell um, what's working or what isn't working? Well, it's really easy to tell what's not working when cell phones come out. That's, okay. that's the most obvious. <laughs> that's very quick feedback. Uh, so, so when they're all looking at me and engaged, I just, it's, it couldn't be more obvious, I find. When I can really, I can feel energy dropping sometimes and I, I respond very quickly to try to bring it back uh, by asking a question um, any way I can. Okay. Yeah. Um, so in your class of things that you've you know been doing in your teaching, mm -hmm. um, do you have anything that has not really worked for you or anything that's really worked well that you'd like to share with us? Well, I think that a combination of lecturing and discussion groups whether that be formal discussion groups. Um, and and I, I have in my second year classes, uh, every second week I have a, de a day devoted specifically to uh, small groups. And they have the questions in advance. So, but I, I find that depending on the level, that works often at the lower levels, best in combination with lectures. And then at the higher levels, like by fourth year, I, would, I wouldn't lecture at all. So, so I think what works, in, in answering your question, what works and doesn't work, I think it's that, that combination of uh, encouraging the students to, to do cooperative learning, to, to learn things on their own, to learn things from each other, and then me trying to fill in the, the blanks. Uh, well, in history, I think trying to give a bit of a narrative to hold things together. Okay. So I know this kind of varies between the different levels of classes, but how would you typically pre prepare for a class? Uh, I think the only way that I can prepare for a class is by putting a lot of time into it. I wish there was another way, <laughs> and I, I would have thought that after 14 years of teaching, I'd be more efficient and I'd be quicker, uh, but I'm not. It's just. I think the main thing is immersing myself in the material so that I feel really fresh. So I, I always I know what the lectures will be in advance. And I just go back to my notes, I go back to the textbook, I I try to uh, make it fresh. Uh, because I know the the first time of teaching something can have the most energy. Uh, and for me, after 14 years, that's a while ago, so I try to recapture the energy by just diving in. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing all this with us. Um, yeah, thanks for coming today. Thank you.